Okay, so I will now quickly show how to track a moving particle which is moving fast enough, not a diffusing particle, but a particle which is self-propelling, like micro motors, uh, and extracting its uh, velocity. So first, we drag and drop the video in Fiji or Image A, and we convert it into grayscale. Click OK. Here we can see the total number of frames. It's 42 frames total. And if we bring it to the end, you can see that it's 2.8 seconds long. So it's about 15 frames per second. Then we go to plugins, tracking, and manual tracking. Okay. Here we will first input the time interval, the length of the clip, it's uh, 2.8 seconds. We can choose the time unit here and the length is given here, 2.8 seconds. Then we will input the XY calibration it's the basically the pixel size per micrometer so for our camera we have 8 0 0.8 for 7 micrometers the calibration is 0 because we are not tracking perpendicular to the plane of the video so we put it 0 the search square we leave it as such for all of these the line width can be or can also be left at one but I will use two. It's in micrometers, the calibration. This is basically 0 0.847 pixels per micrometer. Sorry, sorry, this is the is one micrometer is equal to 0 0.847 pixels. That's the the calibration for our camera. Uh, for every other camera, they can, it can be a different value. Uh, this is for at 5x. If the video is recorded at 10x, uh, we will have to double this this number. And then simply after putting these parameters, we will we will click on Add Track. And then the particle which we want to track, we have to click on this particle. Now this is a tubular structure, so I will be every time clicking on the facing or the forward facing edge of the particle for example this this end so this has to be repeated for every frame we have 42 frames so we will ne require 42 clicks like e one click for every frame one two three and so on see the progress here this is the trajectory which we have tracked basically what we do out at each click we are telling the program uh, its relative location or its position which basically provides the program uh, the coordinates and from coordin coordinates we can and the program calculates the, the velocity now we have this data and we save it on our desktop and if I want to uh, save the trajectory of the video clip as well 
what I will do I will simply click this overlay dots and lines it will bring another video clip and if I play it now we can see the trajectory of the particle which we have just tracked we can uh, save this video as an AVI file um, should be yes here save as AVI 50 frame 15 frames per second and I won't apply any compression for now so click OK and I give the location desktop and it is saved now I can close this and this and I have this exported video which I can use uh, to extract images for example for my article or thesis now we will open this file in Excel and we have the velocities and the distance covered here so from the coordinates x and y coordinates it calculates the distance traveled and then uh, uh, then based on the time which we have like 42 frames so th the program knows the time so it calculates the velocity for it for this distance now what we have to do in order to get the, the total velocity among all these frames uh, we will sum these numbers this looks like this there is a mistake yes so this is 105 micrometers per second uh, because it takes into account this the overall length of the clip so th that's the, the velocity which we uh, which we have just determined so this is all for tracking the motion of the particles <laughs>